India today exclusive the three terrorists who attacked a police station in Punjab's Gurdaspur have been caught on CCTV footage. The images on your screen show the heavily armed terrorists moments before they stormed into Punjab's Dinanagar police station. It shows them walking toward the station at about 4.55 on Monday morning. The Gurdaspur attackers are suspected to have sneaked into India from Pakistan. Now, Union Home Ministry sources say that the attackers may have entered Indian territory around night before last at midnight and hit the highway using the Paharpur Road nearly 15 kilometers from the international border. The Punjab police personnel had fought the attackers for over 12 hours before eliminating them. Kamaljeet is still with us. Kamaljeet, any other leads that we know of? Because it seems that the evidence of CCTV, the GPS, is only making that link to Pakistan stronger. Where did that crucial piece of evidence in the form of CCTV footage in front, uh, in the form of GPS coordinates? Now, all this will form as a part of a jigsaw puzzle. And remember, even as the investigators are now unraveling this particular case, what is very important is the link that we're getting from these particular footage as well as the GPS coordinates. Uh, the intelligence agencies are also working on the intercept span, how these uh, men could have made it in. And obviously, the GPS coordinates giving it deep inside Pakistan uh, in a village called Dharot and perhaps they made it through the Baniyal route across the Baravi river. They are also saying that not just this particular aspect but also the fact that they were planning and plotting and remember they were heavily armed, they were wearing uh, army fatigue. So this was a well planned, well informed uh, sort of uh, operation that was conducted and remember uh, the way there was a retaliation from Punjab police many started questioning it but at this point time uh, yes use of uh, night devices, use of weapons made in China, uh, trying to remove any sort of marking that will distinguish them and say that these are Pakistani men. Uh, so Pakistan has tried to cover its track very well. But at this point of time, enough evidence to nail Pakistan's lies. Also, another development has been that we've got to know that the night vision device used by these terrorists in Dina Nagar were the same as uh, used by U.S. security personnel. Well, that's a big apprehension that the night devices which were of a U.S. make uh, were in the hands of the terrorists. Now remember, uh, this could also be a part of the program where the Americans have been working in Afghanistan and perhaps there could have been a truth or perhaps uh, uh, any sort of uh, weapons that were being provided to Pakistan army have made it in the hands of the uh, Pakistani terrorists. Now this is a major cause of concern. Uh, the investigation and the markings are still yet to be done. So obviously they will ascertain as to how these weapons made it into the hands of these terrorists. Uh, and if uh, this can get a firm link to Pakistani army or Pakistan ISA, now that will really nail Pakistan in terms of evidence. Right. Kamaljeet, these visuals there on our screens, ever since yesterday we've been getting those exclusive visuals here on India Today. What really also is disturbing, Kamaljeet, as we speak, is the fearlessness with which we see these three men in army fatigues approaching the police station. These were fidaing att attackers and remember uh, they have no fear, they know they have come here with one purpose uh, that they will achieve a sort of martyrdom for their own country. Now that's the sort of mission that they had come in with and this was a surprise attack and that is why they could get those many casualties in India because most of the time ahead of 15th office there's a high alert in Jammu and Kashmir we've seen a similar alert happening and that is why one of the reasons the investigators say that perhaps they did not go towards Jammu and Kashmir and crossed over and attack Dina, uh, uh, Dina Nagar was one of the reasons uh, that perhaps the security was too tight. The other was that there was perhaps less anticipation that this sort of an attack would happen in a place called Gurdaspur. Uh, so all these obviously is about joining the dots at this point of time. Uh, but definitely the clues coming in, yes. this could well be a tactic and if there is a change of tactics and a surprise attack like this can cause casualty in India, Pakistan may be having a rethink as to how they can actually bleed India by a thousand cuts. Kamiji, do stay with me. We also have uh, editor Shivaroor joining me from the newsroom. Shiv, this is just the latest in the series of exclusive visuals that we have been providing and accessing for our viewers. Just take us through the details of this specific video that we have on our screen. This is by far the clearest video that we've been able to access that's been shared with us by the investigators. Uh, uh, many more details visible in this particular video than the last two videos that we put out over the last 10 to 12 hours right here on India Today. In this one, 
very specifically visible all three terrorists we've numbered them here uh, so our viewers can get a sense of uh, 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 precisely where they're standing as they walk past this particular cctv visual uh, vedika this uh, timestamp indicates 4:58 p.m., which means just three minutes after the first video that was part yes. of the initial news break that India Today put out yesterday. So obviously, this is just three minutes later. Uh, they're walking down this particular uh, this particular road. Remember, it is after these images were actually shot by this CCTV video uh, that the incident with the bus happened, and then they were able to commandeer that Maruti 800, the white Maruti 800 that they finally drove to their destination which was the Dinanagar police station but this video uh, it captures the kind of detail that were only indicative in that first video in this video you can see very clearly the clothes that they're wearing they're wearing Indian Army fatigues you can see their backpacks really really clearly in this particular video you can also see that they're clearly in Indian Army fatigues and carrying their assault rifles their boots uh, the, you know the uh, the relief on their clothes all of this clearly visible you can just about make out uh, you know the, uh, the, the the features on their face as well and but obviously a much more higher detailed resolution video sadly not available as far as uh, you know uh, as far as the cctv videos uh, is concerned but we are told that there is a longer video that the punjab police is currently studying which hasn't uh, been released just yet uh, and it may not may or may not actually be released which will uh, you know go a great distance, Vedika, to answer some of the other questions that we've been asking, questions that our reporters Kamal uh, and uh, Jugal have been, uh, you know, reporting on as well, which is the precise time of crossing over, where they actually crossed over, was there an intelligence failure that allowed these three terrorists to actually cross over, and this particular video being the clearest of the four videos that India Today has been able to access so far, definitely, like you rightly pointed out, adding perhaps the most detailed layer to the visual evidence available against Pakistan and against the terror group that sent these people. All right, Shiv, thanks for bringing us up to speed with the latest and for describing what is perhaps going to prove to be a crucial visual evidence in this case as far as the Punjab terror attack is concerned.